let's look at how to define increment and decrement operators. So first of all, in order to make this easier, I'm going to create a class and then I'm going to have a insertion operator. So we'll do a class and this one is going to be molt three. So it's going to just give us multiples of three and I'll have a private variable int value and a public set right here. So I have a constructor molt three, which takes in an integer and we'll start our value. So value should be zero and I'll go ahead and set my internal value to be equal to this value. All right. So now at this point, I'm going to create the insertion operator. So define insertion and I'll do it as a friend so that it can be used to insert into the different streams. So do friend SCD. This will be the O stream. So it can use for any type of stream and do an operator. So the insertion and what I'm going to receive here is my O stream and I'll just call that my OS for O stream. And I'm also going to receive the object that I'm working with. So const molt three and the right hand side. Okay. So all I need to do here is just print out something. And so it's my OS that I'm in the stream of receiving. I just send out the right hand side value. So that's what gets displayed. I could change what gets displayed if I wanted to, but I just wanted to display the value. And then I return my OS and then I'm done. So let's just test this part out so far. So at this point, I'm going to go ahead and create a molt three object. So molt three and I'll call this num one and I'm going to pass it the number zero just so it's initialized with something. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure I can print it out. So I'll do a num one, actually just num one. And so I run this and it should print out zero. So here we have it printing out zero. So that is just showing the insertion operator working. Now I want to show you the insertion and well, I guess the increment and decrement. So I'll start with the increment. The increment operators and I'm going to do first the uh, post fix so that would be like a plus plus so num1 plus plus and I will do molt 3 operator and plus plus and I pass in an int I don't actually need to use it so but I just pass it in and then what I'm doing is because it has a value before it, before it increments, I need to return that value. So I'm going to have a uh, mold three temp equal start this. So I get a copy of the current um, object. And then I want to increment the current object, but not, well, not mess up the the temp one so do this molt actually do this value and i'll do a plus equals three because i want to do multiples of three and then i want to return my temp so what that does is it makes it so that i create this temp object the current object in the side of upgrades updates and then i return right here the temp object. So the temp object is the one that's not incremented yet. So I'll go ahead and run this right here. If I do a num plus plus right here, because it's afterwards, it should return zero, but then it updates to three. 
And then the next time I run it right here, it's going to return three, and then it's going to be updated to six. So I could even do it one more just so we can see and take out the plus plus and we can see that it is at six. So I'm going to run that. So it should say um, zero, three, then six. You can see zero, three, six. So that is the increment using postfix. Now I want to do an increment using prefix. Prefix. So for this one, it's a little bit different. Um, you still have that same molt three. So my object right here, I'm going to pass it the address and I want my operator plus plus. And I don't need to pass in an int because it's not the same way. It's doing prefix instead. And in this one, I want to update the current object and not create a new one. I just want to return, update the current object and then return it. So I will do a, um, this value plus equals three. And then I can return a copy of this value. So start this, dereference it to this. All right, now if I change all these plus pluses to the other side, and so what will end up happening is it'll start as zero right here. It will change to three. It'll print out the three. It'll change to six, print out the six, and then it'll print out the six again. So I'll go ahead and run that. And you can see three, six, then six. So we, now we have the increment and in both postfix and prefix. Let's go ahead and do the decrements as well. So I've got my decrement post fix. Same basic idea, just molt three, operator minus minus, pass in the int. And then I have the molt three that I'm going to be returning temp. And that equals a dereference copy of this. I then operate and update this this value minus equals three and then i return turn my temp all right and i'll go ahead and do the decrement for prefix as well and this one i have a molt three and operator minus minus. And this one, I don't need to change a, a temp. I just do the actual one. So value plus equals, or actually minus equals three. And then I want to return a dereferenced this. So now I have the decrement Pre, postfix and prefix operators. So if I go ahead and do minus minus right here, this is the prefix. I'll run this and um, it should go from zero to negative three, negative six, and negative six right here. So it's printing out zero, negative three, negative six, and negative six. Actually, I won't we'll print out the zero, but negative three, negative three, and negative six, and negative six. So you can see negative three, negative six, and negative six. I could change the order right here to be the postfix. Um, actually, I want the minus minus postfix. And run this. And now you can see that it is zero because it starts with zero, negative three, and negative six. So I hope this shows you how to do the incrementing the the postfix, prefix, um, increment and decrement operators, um, for seeing how it actually works. It's easiest if you use this insertion thing or something else so you can actually get a value that is easy to look at. Um, there you go.